to handle negative thoughts and win the spiritual battle of your mind. When you are bombarded with toxic and blasphemous thoughts about your failures, how alone you are or how there's no way out of your situation, believe that these thoughts are not from you. And while we can't stop the negative and disheartening thoughts from coming, we don't have to be at the mercy of them. Jesus has paid the price so you can experience healing, deliverance, and protection in every areas of your life. The defeated enemy will always attacking your mind, using with all of his tactics and all of his lies. Many times you are thinking those thoughts but you are not. When you want to be closer to God, the devil is attacking you with blasphemous and toxic thoughts. Do you feel sometimes like you have the tape recorder playing toxic thoughts over and over again in your head? Many Christians are battling with toxic thoughts because they own it. Do not own the negative thoughts as this voice comes from the enemy. The devil works from the outside because God forbid them to work in the inside. Do you wish you could stop the repetitive thoughts that are sucking the life out of you? First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 Be sober-minded, be alert. Your adversary the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for anyone he can devour. Whatever consumes your mind controls your life, so choose a good quality of godly thoughts that can change your life. I have found that many Christians today are struggling with toxic a negative thinking. It is because something pain and hurts from your past are not being healed. It triggers the toxic thoughts to come up in your mind. There is a war between the spirit realm and the battleground is in your mind. How toxic and negative thoughts affects our lives. I am here to offer you hope and hardcore strategies on how to win the spiritual battle of your mind. God has reminded us we are need to control and renew our thoughts daily. As the Bible says in Romans chapter 12 verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of our mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23, Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts, and attitudes. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23 remind us to allow the Holy Spirit to renew our thoughts and that means we need to be in control of what we are thinking. The only way to fight and overcome the battle of your mind is to meditate 
the word of God every day. Being close to the scripture and listening to the word of God is an important and necessary condition for God's will to be done in this life. You were called to be a part of God's army. Renew your mind by listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit and get closer to His words. This is your primary responsibility in life. John chapter 1 verse 11 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. When we meditate the Word of God, the Word of God is the Holy Spirit Himself who can only help us to defeat these toxic thoughts and controls our mind. As Christians, we must pray for the Lord to protect our mind and help us to fight from allowing the negative thoughts that causing distractions, stress, worries, anxieties, and fear. Renewing your mind with the help of the Holy Spirit is a great way to begin living a more healthy and joyful life. The Word of God is our life indeed. We must resist the devil and feed our mind with the Word of God only. Keep speaking blessings to yourself and draw the positive thoughts that can change your life. Second Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 8 But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. The breastplate of faith and love are the protections of your heart. Our heart is the point of contact of the Holy Spirit where the enemy cannot execute your hearts with fear and doubts. Our hope is the helmet of our salvation. Salvation from internal destructions, salvation from hell, and salvation from all sicknesses. As a child of God, we have a rock-solid foundation to believe the best and good in our future, freedom and health. Jesus paid the price for us in a rock-solid foundation. As a child of God, why can't you believe that all is well in every area of your life? Believe that God is working inside of you and not against you. Amen. God has a plan for your life. He wants you to prosper and not to harm you. He will prepare a table for you in the presence of the enemy. And this is God's promises. Five steps for winning the battle in your mind. First step, recognize your triggers. We all have that one area that triggers worry, fear, anxiety. It is important to identify those triggers so that we can be prepared for when the enemy decides to use them. Step 2. Fight back with scripture. Jesus didn't converse with the devil. He didn't philosophize with the devil. He didn't argue with the devil. He used one weapon, and it's the only weapon we need, which is the scripture, the word of God. Step 3. Retrain your thoughts. Stop trying to distract yourself. 
We need to retrain our thoughts to remain focused on God's word and discipline our emotions to remain at peace, knowing that God allows everything for a purpose. His purpose is always for good. He works all things for good. He has already won the victory. Step 4. Refuse to give up. For many of us, patterns of worry, anxiety, pessimism, and critical thoughts and attitudes have been allowed to grow for years. So often we give up right on the eve of our victory. Refuse to give up, as God will transform our mind and we will see the victory. Step 5. Gather prayer warriors. Finally, as you take up your sword of the Spirit, don't forget the weapon of prayer. There is tremendous power in prayer, and this powerful weapon is so often neglected in spiritual battle. Prayer to win the battle of your mind. Loving Father, please bring me clarity with the light of God. Cover me by your holy blood. Restore everything of what has died in me. Loving Jesus, please grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. My soul is like a turbulent sea. I can't seem to find my balance, so I stumble and worry constantly. Give me the strength and clarity of mind to find my purpose and walk the path you've laid out for me. Father, we thank you for being a good God and a faithful Father. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.